Now in this video, I'm just going to give you a bit of an introduction to Ubuntu. Now, once you boot it up and you select it to log in using the Ubuntu system, this is what you see, and it's much like Windows. You have your desktop where you can put your icons on that you want on here. Up here, you have some applications, and this is like the start button. If you click on applications, you get a pop up here and then you can go through the menus for the different things. We have accessories, we have games, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, system tools, and the Ubuntu Software Center. And we're going to go into more of these a little bit. I'm just going to go through a quick introduction here. Places. This is where you keep your files and this is almost exactly like Windows as well. You have different folders where you keep different things. For instance, your documents go in here, music, pictures. You already have this on Windows, videos, downloads. So you've, you're familiar with all this. You also have your different disk drives on here and you can look at your network on here as well. When you click on that, it'll bring up any network computers that you have out there or network devices. And then you can connect to a server, search for files, and any recent documents will be in here, and you can clear that out just like that. And then we have system. This is where you take control of your system. You set your preferences for many different things here, and this is just like the control panel in Windows. You'll see many of the same things in here. Administration, this is where you're going to look after your computer tasks. Help and support is just what, like what it says and about and about Ubuntu. Then what we have, let's get rid of that, we have our quick launch icons up here. So you can add quick launch icons up here just like you have in Windows systems. And for instance, if we click on Firefox here, it'll bring up the Firefox browser. And here we are browsing the internet, just like in Windows. Open up Firefox and away you go. Okay, it's exactly the same thing. Works exactly the same. It's just built for the Linux operating system. Going across, you'll see here that we have the date. And when you click on that, it brings up a calendar so you can put in any appointments that you have. Further to the right, when you click here, you can, you can look after your computer where you're going to lock the screen, get a guest session, switch to a different user, log out, suspend, hibernate, restart the computer or shut down. The computer's all done from there. Click on your username and there's just some stuff you can do in here. You can set up a chat account, broadcast account, and you can go to Ubuntu One where you can set up some free storage. Down at the bottom here, is the taskbar just like in Windows? Every time you have a window open, let's well, just open something here. Let's open Documents. Okay, here's the Documents window. Looks a lot like a Windows window. Your stuff, your files are contained in here, and you have some navigation on the left side. And you notice down here in the taskbar, there it is. If we right-click on it, we can close it, and we can move it to the workspace, which is down here. and so on, just like in Windows. Okay, so basically, it's not a lot different from Windows to use because Ubuntu has wrapped up Linux in a nice little wrapper for us and made it fairly easy to use. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll go through some of the applications and I'll show you how some of these functions work.